Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be really fun to make a video talking about 2022 fashion trends, which ones am I loving and what do I not see myself participating in? Because one of my goals for the year was to figure out my personal fashion style a little bit more and it can be hard to do that when there are just new trends and micro trends popping up constantly. You know, sustainability wise, it is not a good idea to invest in every single trend and also personal style wise you know it's good to pick and choose and I've been watching a lot of videos on 2022 trends so I thought I would link those below for you today's video is also sponsored by karma which is my absolute favorite chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code when you are online shopping which is something that we all do I've had this chrome extension on my computer for years and it saved me so much money on so many different sites. It's just a no-brainer because it's free and it's so handy to use. It's also super easy to download. All you have to do is open the Google Chrome store and click the install button. Then you can visit any of your favorite stores and click the button or slider when you see an item that you'd like to save. Once you've saved an item, you can get notifications via email or mobile push notifications when an item you've saved goes on sale, has a relevant coupon, or comes back in stock. Here is a list that I've saved on Karma, and I really love that you can organize things into multiple wish lists. I really love this feature over the holidays. I can make different wish lists for myself and different people, and it just keeps all of my present planning very organized. But the Karma Chrome extension also automatically scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. And when you shop with select retail partners, Karma will give cash back to you and a good cause. Definitely check out Karma and download the free Chrome extension through the link in my description box. Now to get on to the trends that I've been liking first, I picked out five for each that I've been liking and that I haven't been liking and we're just gonna go through them together. Clogs have been absolutely having their moment in 2022 and whether you like them or not, it's hard to avoid them. I feel like I see them everywhere and I personally really like them. I think you can do a Boston Birkenstock clog and look very casual, very farmer's market, art teacher chic, or you can do a more studded and embellished clog and look a little bit more like you put effort in, but still there's just something so casual about a shoe that you just slide on into. You don't have to do any lacing up. You don't have to do any buttoning, any zippers. It's just a slide. It's essentially a slipper. And I think after the years that we've had, people want comfort. And so I think that is why slides in Birkenstocks are so popular right now. But we've been getting some really cute variations on them, you know, whether it's a platform or again, some embellishments they are something that I see myself investing in. I just wanted to make sure that it was something that I would wear. I'll link a couple that I think are cute in the description box. I've been really leaning towards the Charlotte Stone pair as well as Intentionally Blank. Next up, you might have seen this coming if you watched my recent favorites video. I have been loving denim skirts, specifically long midi to maxi length denim skirts. I think these can be styled in a really effortless List, like model off duty way. I posted a TikTok wearing a denim skirt and someone told me that they never expected a denim skirt to look cool and not like one of the Duggars. So I do think it's very important to get the right cut of denim midi or maxi skirt. As you can see with the ones I put on screen, most of them are fitted. Some of them have like a cool slit up it just for like some more movement. I would avoid the ones that are kind of more like a tent. Um, because you do still want to show off your silhouette. <laughs> These are really easy to thrift. Um, when I went thrifting like last weekend, I saw a ton of denim skirts. They used to be really popular in the 90s. Um, so because of that, I think it is smarter to just thrift one than buy one new because the best part of these is when they are old and unique. 
I feel like I've been seeing brown leather everywhere. I don't know if it's just me, but I never used to pair brown and black together. I didn't ever used to buy anything brown. And with chocolate brown becoming really popular in the past year, I've been seeing people wearing brown leather a lot, um, especially with jackets, bags, shoes, and like accessories. Brown leather to me feels just like the softer, warmer version of black leather. Like black leather is a classic. It's never going out of style but sometimes I can feel kind of like I'm in the matrix or just kind of bored of always wearing black leather accessories because if you know me I'm always wearing black everywhere so that is definitely something I have my eye on at the moment and I really prefer to get secondhand leather so I will be thrifting this and looking on the real real I've been seeing a lot of these loose knits on TikTok and Instagram lately I think it has to do with how many people are getting into crocheting and knitting that there's like a huge resurgence of that right now so if you have the skills you could make one of these at home, but it is definitely something I don't have the talent to do. So I have had my eye on searching for something like this that I can layer with because I just think it adds a really interesting texture. I feel like I could see this being more of like a spring trend or even summer if you do like a loose crochet over a bathing suit, that's always been in style. Um, it looks like it's almost unraveling on your body, which is cool. For the last fashion trend that I love the look of, this one I'm not too sure if I am capable of pulling it off, you can let me know what you think. Um, but that is cargo pants as well as cargo skirts, basically just loose flowy pants, maybe in like a thinner, more workout material. I don't think they necessarily have to have pockets on them or not. I've been seeing a lot of these. And again, I really like the very effortless, like I'm not trying very hard look. And these definitely have that going for them. I'm just not too sure hundred percent if I can pull it off. So I'll probably try and thrift a pair that's really cheap and see how I feel in them but I like the way that they look and part of fashion is exploring things that might feel out of your comfort zone maybe you'll look back and think it's cringy in a year from now or maybe it'll become a staple and you can't really know until you try it so I do tend to go the thrifted route for things like that just because um it's cheaper. As a sidebar, this isn't one of the trends that I noted, but I've been seeing a lot of kilts as well, like people wearing long plaid skirts. So I thrifted one for, again, like $10. I think it might have even been cheaper than that. And I've yet to style it, but I'm trying. I'll probably end up doing a 2022 thrifting trends video, maybe in like the next month or so, um, just to go off of this video. And now on to a couple trends that I feel don't personally align with my aesthetic and that I don't see myself investing in or wearing, but it's totally fine if you like these things. Fashion is so individual and that's what makes it so cool. Um, and I also think people can pull off all of these things. I just don't think that I can or it's not for me and that's okay. Futuristic jelly sneakers. I do not understand the appeal of. I do love dad sneakers, like New Balances and like, you know, traditionally ugly sneakers with an outfit. But for some reason, these jelly sneakers with all of the like strings and metallics and colors just I just can't get behind it. That's all I'm saying. I feel like ties got really big this last year and they can be very hit or miss for me. I think sometimes with like the right going out outfit, they can look really cool, especially if it's paired with like a shorter skirt. And like, I think this photo specifically, she's pulling it off very, very well, both of these girls. Then a photo like this, and this is Bella Hadid, she looks like a waitress and her style is one of my absolute favorites. It just doesn't always work for me and I love menswear on women. I feel like that is like one of my all time favorite things in fashion, but ties can be very give or take. They have to be thin and I prefer them not super bold personally. Speaking of bold patterns, I feel like bold pattern mixing is something that I just don't see lasting very long. I think it's already kind of dying out just because there was such a huge craze for the past few years. 
I just, I get really tired of seeing the same prints and I think that does have to do so much with fast fashion, just running this trend to the ground. I think the best example I can think of is this pattern from Lisa Says Ga. I think the first time I saw it, I thought it was cute, but now it is everywhere. Everyone's ripping it off and when I see it, I get a headache and it sucks for the people that invested in it, you know, a $200 pair of pants in the beginning. I would be careful what you do invest in when it comes to bolds, just because bolds don't always hold up. But again, that is just my opinion. I tend to invest in like quality basics and then get my more funky pieces from the thrift store where they are less expensive and a little bit more unique. Someone is very over me talking, but the last trend or aesthetic that just does not personally work on me is Y2K fashion, rhinestones and heavy graphic embellishments with brand names. I just don't see that really outlasting. And every time I've kind of like dabbled in it, I haven't really liked the outfits after like six months. Let me see if I can find an example of me wearing like a somewhat Y2K outfit. It just isn't for me. I've tried it. I think it's cute, but I just don't feel confident when I'm wearing stuff like that. But I totally respect the vibe curation that it is. I'm just a very much a true 90s fashion kind of girl at heart, always have been. Those are my personal hot takes when it comes to 2022 fashion trends. Definitely let me know what you guys have been into and not into in the comments. And don't forget to download the completely free Karma Shopping Assistant Chrome extension. The link will be in my description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys.